November marks Epilepsy Awareness Month, designed to draw attention to one of the most common and least understood of all neurological disorders. The brain disorder can lead to violent seizures, often in older adults or very young children. To better understand epilepsy, one local family wants you to meet their five-year-old son who's defied so many odds. Here's Carly O'Keefe. If you follow SAU Athletics, you know the name Sam Bursky. Joel scored countless touchdowns as a Saluki quarterback. His wife, Samantha, played for and later coached the women's golf team. But tonight, the Sam Burskys want you to know them simply as Teddy's parents. And they want to share a little bit about the brave little boy whose strength and determination to overcome whatever comes his way has been an inspiration to not only his family, but his entire community. To see Teddy Samburski now, running, jumping, and playing with his sisters and brother, you'd never guess that little more than a month ago, he was in pediatric intensive care at St. Louis Children's Hospital, clinging to life. Quite literally, I didn't, I didn't know if he was gonna die in my arms. To understand what happened, we need to go back to the beginning, five and a half years ago. Samantha and Joel Samburski were expecting their fourth child, but a concerning heart arrhythmia prompted doctors to perform an emergency C-section. Teddy was born seven weeks premature. As a result, he spent weeks in the neonatal intensive care unit at St. Louis Children's. He jumped through those premature hurdles fairly well, and at one month old, we transferred um, back to Carbondale Hospital. We were supposed to be just a few days away to a week from coming home permanently, and um, that same day that he was transferred back to Carbondale, he um, started showing signs that he was struggling, and by that night, we were airlifted out and back to St. Louis. Doctors ran every test imaginable to find out what caused a thriving infant to take a sudden turn for the worse. The answer was a rare and dangerous form of bacterial meningitis. I remember when they kind of pulled us aside to tell us that this had devastating effects and I, that word for whatever reason just has stuck in my head for over all these years. The infection inside Teddy's brain caused a range of problems. Everything from uh, seizures to um, brain surgeries to just um, you know, sedation and coma intubated with, you know, breathing tubes and IVs everywhere. And so it was very touch and go for quite a while. You know, at one point we saw a, an MRI of his brain and, you know, about a third of it had been impacted by the meningitis from what we could tell at that time. He was a little baby. He was only one month old whenever it happened. Um, and so the long-term outcome, we didn't know. Teddy spent more than 100 days in the hospital, prompting a public awareness campaign that came to be known as Tough Like Teddy. Several college football teams, along with community members, rallied to support the smallest Samburski. Sometimes life brings you load that you just need help with, you know, and that's why you got to have community where you come alongside somebody, pick them up and carry them. After many more complications, Teddy was finally able to come home, but he wasn't home free. At nine months old, he suffered infantile spasms, a very serious form of epileptic seizure caused by brain injury or illness. It was another terrible setback for tiny Teddy. That was pretty devastating. It was a very difficult um, uh, time and a different, a very difficult type of epilepsy that, that we worked through. But the Samburskis say once Teddy reached 15 months or so, things seemed to level out. Cheers. Teddy defied the odds, developing like any other toddler and then grew into a healthy, happy, active little boy. Good job. He's just gotten to be a little boy the last four years, which has been just wonderful. And so, yeah, it, I, I think I say it totally caught us off guard. Um, we were not something we were expecting or even felt like we were prepared for, really. All right, Lanny! Last month, Teddy and his family Good were job, in DuCoin at his older sister's cross-country meet job, when... I um, looked over at Teddy and I saw his eyes roll up and his body kind of contort, and, um, and I just knew instantly that it was a seizure. The Samburskis thought Teddy's battle with epilepsy was behind them. Instead, they found themselves entering a frightening new phase of their son's medical journey. We'll have part two of Tough Like Teddy right after this break.